Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Ali Soili Mutashiwa Ali Soili Mutashiwa was a Comorian socialist revolutionary who served as the third president of Comoros. He was born in Majunga, Madagascar on the 7th of January 1937. He attended schools in Madagascar and France and returned to Comoros in the 1960s to work as an agriculturist and economist. Ali Soili's entry into politics was in 1970 when he served as a supporter of Said Ibrahim, leader of the Democratic Assembly of the Comoran People RDPC. Shortly after he became a politician, he developed an anti-colonial ideology against France as well as developed a socialist ideology. He also renounced his Islamic faith and became an atheist. On the 3rd of August 1975, less than a month after Comoros gained independence from France, Soili overthrew President Said Mohamed Jafar and became the head of a revolutionary council that took over the leadership of Comoros. Later on the 3rd of January 1976, Soili became the Comoros president under the Revolutionary Council, having overthrown Ahmed Abdallah with the assistance of Bob Dennard, a French soldier. Shortly after he resumed office, Soili began a revolutionary program primarily directed against the country's traditional Muslim society. Based on his Maoism and Islamic philosophies, he desired to develop Comoros into an economically independent and ideologically progressive modern 20th century state. In the spirit of revolution, he abolished some of the country's customs such as Anda, the traditional grand marriage, together with expensive traditional funerary ceremonies. He also discouraged the study of history in a bid to advance the cause of the youth and charge the younger generation to get involved in governance. To achieve this more easily, he lowered the voting age to 14 and positioned teenagers in positions of responsibility. Soily even took extreme measures like legalizing cannabis and encouraging the removal of the veil among the women of Comoros. He went ahead to establish Moasi, a young revolutionary militia trained by Tanzanian military advisors. Similar to China's Mao Zedong Red Guards, Moasi terrorized villages and executed violent attacks against conservative elders who were formally and reverentially referred to as old men. Soili's highly confrontational policies caused France to stop its aid and technical assistance programs to Comoros. Also, the teenager-dominated Moasi became increasingly viewed by the Comorian people as repressive and political. Their revolutionary moves were intimidating and terribly violent as over time, the teenagers were armed with AK-47 assault rifles and got outrageously arrogant, raping women who resisted their advances and killing anyone who questioned their authority. The 15-year-old commander of the revolutionary group was chosen for his loyalty to Soili and was ruthless as a result of his influence. All of these unpleasant activities fueled the growing discontent in Comoros, which led to four unsuccessful coup attempts against Soili's regime during his two-and-a-half-year tenure. Finally, on the 13th of May 1978, Soili was overthrown by a 50-member mercenary unit. The French paratroopers-dominated troop was hired by the exiled former leader, Ahmed Abdallah, and led by French colonel. Bob Dennard. The experienced soldiers found it quite easy to eliminate Moasi teenagers who were outrightly untrained in operating ammunition. Hundreds of the Moasi teenagers died in that battle and Soili faced his defeat later that night 
when Denard found Soily having sexual relations with teenage school girls who were abusing drugs and watching pornography. That was the night Soily got deposed. Abdullah became president and reversed Soily's policies. He also changed the name of the country to the Islamic Federal Republic of the Comoros. Soily was shot and killed on the 29th of May 1978, just after he tried escaping while under house arrest. Later in 1989, Soily's older half-brother, Said Mohamed Johar, overthrew Abdullah and served as president of Comoros until 1996. Comoros is not devoid of the effect of the social policies of Ali Soili, as there are still traces of the effect, particularly in Anjuan, an autonomous high island in the Indian Ocean that forms part of the Comoros. What have we missed out of this biography of Soili? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video share and subscribe to our channel.